this theory can seem a little bit complicated, so let's take a look into a Python example so we can try to clear some points out. So take a DFT of size n equals to 4, its transform matrix T can be obtained using this FFT, FFTI, so we have our transform matrix here. Observe that we have complex values in the transform, and hence we obtain complex valued filters. To evaluate complex valued filters, we need the full circle in the frequency domain from 0 to 2 pi. If we want to obtain the frequency response of the subband k equals to 1 of this DFT filter bank, we take the second column, time reverse it, and then plot the frequency response with scipy signal frac c. So here we are importing a scipy signal, matplotlib, to plot numpy, and here we are computing the frac z, so the frequency response of sub n k equals to 1. Here is just to um, avoid um, log 10 of 0, and now we are plotting the magnitude response for the TFD for subband k equals to 1. So we have dB and we have normal light frequency. Here is approximately a pi and here we are at 2 pi. Observe we have, we have a bad stop band attenuation, so it's less than 20 dB. Also observe that the frequency axis is going from 0 to 2 pi instead of just pi. This is because we have complex impulse response. The normalized frequency 2 pi is the sampling frequency. Since we have a 2 pi periodic frequency, this is identical to frequency 0. And the frequencies from pi to 2 pi can also be seen as the negative frequencies from minus pi to 0. This shows that this filter has a pass band at the positive frequencies, but not at the negative frequencies. The equivalent pass band at the negative frequencies is obtained from subband k equals to 3. So first we plotted the subband k equals to 1, now we move to subband k equals to 3. We do the same procedure, we calculate the frequency response, and we have the magnitude response for the DFT subband k is equal to 3. Observe that this looks like the frequency mirrored version of the filter for k equals to 1. This also shows how to separate positive and negative frequencies. The low pass is at k equals to 0, and the high pass appears at k equals to 2. Observe that here the high pass appears in the middle, because of the symmetry between positive and negative frequencies.